Tonight in Chautauqua County and all across New York State, improvements to cybersecurity defense are underway. Justin Gold with our news partner, WNY News Now, has more. New York Governor Kathy Hochul admits that the state's institutions, governments, and infrastructure are vulnerable to cyber attacks and preventative measures need to be taken now. We truly live in a digital world. You think about all your transactions, you know, how you access money, how you pay your bills, how you make purchases and medical records, even our power grids, uh, NIPA, our transportation systems, the MTA, uh, they're all vulnerable to cyber attack. Given tensions mounting worldwide, the governor believes it's best if the state has an independent plan and resources to protect themselves. I thought it was serious enough that I convened members of my cabinet on Sunday, uh, asking all of them to come together and tell me what steps they've been taken and where there may be any shortcomings in our statewide operations, as well as our critical infrastructure. The thwart attack, she announced a first in the nation joint security operations center, which will allow experts to combine resources and share data. The operation, according to the governor, is a $62 million investment. Currently, cyber attacks cost the nation five to 10 billion annually, with 85 serious attacks just last year. Hochul says in many cases, local governments are unprepared. And that's why I'm putting together a plan for $30 million to help our localities buy this at a subsidized price and get the technological know-how that they need to defend themselves. The state is looking to hire 70 experts for the op who will secure the state and protect citizens within it. Justin Gould, WNY News Now. And New York's governor encourages all New Yorkers to increase their own cybersecurity by creating strong, unique passwords as well as staying vigilant in what messages and links you choose to open. And we